Goblet of the Truth The Book of the Entire Teaching of the Prophets Teaching of the Truth, Teaching of the Spirit, Teaching of the Life From Hanok Elia Jasaja Jeremiah Jmanuel Muhammad and Billy Bean Glossary of the German Terms Azartung Noun Plural Azartungen A very bad get out of the control of the good human nature Ausdartet Adjective Having got out of the control of the good nature or of a good kind slash form Gamut Noun The gamut is the spirit form's counterpart of the material body's psyche it is that spiritual block and factor which, in the spirit body of a life form, in this case a human being, regulates and looks after the material consciousness-based feeling and the material consciousness-based thoughts in itself, in negative or positive consequence. Gewalt Noun Gewalt is the brutal execution of elemental might and force, but it is far above all might and all force. Gewalt exists in different and relative forms, one example being a gewaltadage jezanung, which is an expression from the character, personality, thoughts, feelings, and emotions that shows the inclination to act with gewalt. Explanation from Pata Gewalt has nothing to do with the terms heftig, violent, and heftigite, violence, because the old Iranian term with regard to gewalt means jula, and it is defined as using with all the coercive means that are at one's disposal, physical, psychical, mental, and consciousness-based powers, abilities, and skills, in order to carry out and carry through terrible actions and deeds. Gewaltsam Adjective With Gewalt Gewaltsamkeit Noun The state or quality of being with Gewalt A deed or behavior that is Gewaltsam Gewaltlosigite Noun The state or quality of being without Gewalt Gewaltsame Gewaltlosigite Something that is achieved in rationality and logic represents a Gewaltsamkeit. Rationality and logic stand for rightness against the illogical slash unright, which is being confronted mightfully, however, in a form that is not destructive but constructive, i.e. Gewaltlos, without Gewalt. Weizen Noun. Plural Weizen. A Weizen is an independently existing life form with its own individuality and personality in an impulse-based, instinct-based, or conscious consciousness form with evolution possibilities that are specifically directed towards everything, and with its own physical, psychical, relating to the psyche, conscious, part-conscious, unconscious, impulse or instinct-based development forms, human being, animal, Creature and Plants Wiesenheit Noun Plural Wesenheiten An immaterial or material existence form without a self-determining possibility of evolution, in which case, however, this possibility can be given to a certain extent, such as with the creation universal consciousness, certain energies, stones, water and gases, etc. Goblet of the Truth Part 4 What must be made known comprehensively in a prophetic and predictive wise for the third millennium? If you human beings of Earth do not turn to the truth of the creation and its laws and recommendations in what is now the third millennium, if you do not change to the better and good and do not follow the true rules of the life as they exist in the creational laws and recommendations, then all evil events of all kinds will broaden in ever-worsening succession. The creational natural laws and recommendations are written in the goblet of the truth and in the spiritual teaching, which is the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life, which it is of vital importance to follow. However, if you human beings continue to fail to follow the creational laws and recommendations, evil and catastrophes of all kinds which have existed all over Earth for a long time will increase in future into much more evil excrescences. And if you do not change to the better, good and best, all evil over the world will take a much worse form than it has done for decades and also does at present, 
and the coming events will be such as the world has never experienced up to the current time, nor lived, nor seen. A change to the better, good and best can only occur, however, if you human beings of earth think and act rightly and rationally from now on and into the future, and this principally applies to your rulers and other mightful human beings who have to lead you as a people to the best and good. This thinking and acting which is full of rationality is also demanded from every individual in your entire humanity as well as from you as such in your entirety. And success can only come about if your thoughts are rightly cared for and deeds are determined and performed rightly, indeed in accordance with the urgency of the necessity for change. However, if this change is not tackled and carried through, then it is unavoidable and inevitable that the prophecies will come true, as is the case with the predictions that are firm with regard to their fulfillment and which will certainly turn into an evil reality. Overall in all things of your present existence as human beings of earth, a change to the better, good and best is unavoidable if everything is still to develop ultimately into something of good worth after all. However, if this change is not started and carried through, then do not be surprised if nothing turns to the better, good and best, but the negative, bad and evil things are fulfilled, as has been prophetically stated although without being specifically called prophecies so that it is not possible for you to differentiate between prophecy and prediction for the important reason that not only individual factors are seized for change, but entirely everything of all circumstances. And this must be the case, because given a true effort, it is only possible to bring about the better, good and the best through an all-encompassing change, providing everything is taken into account extensively. Therefore, the following prophetic and predictive words are to be stated finally by me, Billy Beam, as the last proclaimer in the line of seven of Nocodemian. With the third millennium, you human beings of Earth have passed from the darkness of the last two millennia into the gloom of what is for you an impenetrable labyrinth of wrong modes of behavior, and already in the 20th century you have brought about all kinds of evil and are continuing to create and cultivate the same, which has brought unoverlookable terribleness over you, nature and the planet and will continue to do so. Your greed for profit, you human beings of Earth, is continuing to abound more and more, and those of your world who have might are casting your populations of all states into ever deeper misery, making imperious and megalomaniacal decisions over your heads and taking all the might of determination away from you as a people. Everything is a matter of might and money, and from now on everything will become worse in this regard, as will catastrophes of all kinds in nature, in the climate and amongst you human beings, caused by the breakneck speed of population growth which has become uncontrollable over population. Everything is constantly and increasingly directed towards hierarchy, money, income, profit and gain as well as productivity due to the efforts of those who are greedy for profit and might, an attitude which is however spreading more and more amongst individual human beings and your entire peoples. Therefore, you are becoming ever more indifferent to one another, more mistrustful of one another and increasingly emotionless, disinterested, indolent and obtuse in interpersonal relationships, which is causing simple human connections to be destroyed and entire families to be ruined. Under such unbearable circumstances, many amongst you will feel blazing anger rise up in you and will therefore torment other fellow human beings or even extract bloody revenge on them. However, trust amongst you human beings will vanish to an increasing extent, leading to ever worsening forms of jealousy and hatred arising in many of you, whether because of a difference of opinion or a different belief, because of money, goods and chattels or simply because the face, body, clothing or behavior of the other human being provokes you. Therefore, there will be increasing gewalt amongst you. And not only because some human beings simply find it good and satisfying when they torment, beat, spit on, tread down or humiliate others, even accepting the death of those being tormented. And in the future, gewalt, murder and deliberate as well as malicious and warlike destruction will prevail amongst you, something which will in its entirety also be carried into space near Earth. And in fact not only in particular when worlds close to Earth are settled by human beings of Earth. You human beings of Earth increasingly want to seize the might of the creation for yourselves, and the longer this continues, 
the more you know no limits and imagine yourselves to be the highest might of the life, of earth and of the universe. However, vengeance will be extracted when all your doings turn sooner or later to your own harm, and as a result of which you fall into a deep abyss. The tall buildings that tower into the clouds as skyscrapers will collapse, the fields will lie in waste and therefore it will no longer be possible to bring in any harvests. And the longer this continues, the more you as individual human beings will make your own laws, in accordance with which you terrorize the environment and your fellow human beings, as is already the case in many places due to extremists, terrorists, youths, human beings who are full of hatred and human beings who are addicted to revenge and human beings who are confused as well as imperious ones who take it upon themselves to inflict punishments. Many of you will fall back into barbarity, and hunger will increasingly ravage the world because many natural foodstuffs are misused for purposes other than for food due to the greed for profit and might, take for example the biofuels used for powering machinery and engines. Lubricants will also be manufactured for these using foodstuffs, and these are only two of many examples with regard to the misuse of foodstuffs. Climate change caused by the overpopulation of your earthly humanity, will entail huge natural catastrophes which will become ever worse and also impinge on your own lives. As a result, in future ever more severe droughts and periods of cold weather as well as vast storms of all kinds, rainstorms and firestorms brought forth by forest fires will scourge the entire earth and bring about destructions full of Gewalt as will also be the case due to an increase in earthquakes and undersea quakes, landslides, storm surges, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions, floods, and high tides. Therefore, in the course of the coming time, hundreds of thousands and even millions of you human beings will lose your lives, whilst others will not be able to withstand all the misery and will seek death at their own hands, others still will increasingly turn to drugs which have been partially legalized through the irrationality of those in power because they are too stupid to recognize the danger of drug addiction and its consequences, or because they themselves are profiting from the drug. Trade Only very few human beings are troubled by the fact that this destroys the body, the psyche, and even the life of the addicts, or by the fact that this means more and more murders and suicides take place as do rapes, criminal and unlawful deeds, and many of you human beings act like wild beasts, and this situation has existed for decades. Therefore, criminality, crime and capital offenses are increasing, as Gewalt is burgeoning unstoppably, indeed this is in relation to the increase in overpopulation. Gewalt acts committed by young human beings are on the rise just as is their carrying and use of weapons of all kinds which they employ conscienselessly, resulting in the injury and even death of innocent human beings, as is also the case with extremist groups that carry out Gewalt acts. Very many of you place less and less value on the physical and psychical integrity of people of your kind, as a result of which you harm your fellow human beings injure them physically and psychically and you do not even shrink from killing and murdering them. By these means, the life of many of you will become truly catastrophic and hellish, and this will only come to an end when you are carried off by death. However, this will not be sufficient in the future, because the pathological craving for pleasure and amusement as well as for holiday travel is increasing just as unstoppably and always entails an ever greater disaster just as you men and women soon get divorced from one another and live apart, or if you come together frivolously and get married or live together in apparent friendship and companionship. And it will increasingly be the case that you as men and women embark on sexual relations with one another without getting to know one another more closely and, in wild passion, bring unwanted children into the world who grow up without fathers and indeed never get to know their father. And, furthermore, in this wise you will spread plagues such as AIDS, syphilis, tuberculosis, and other scourges, so that in this regard evil will spread from bed to bed and from human being to human being. Therefore in future, the sexuality that you human beings of earth wrongly believe to be true love will end up as an evil scourge. Good morality is increasingly becoming lost amongst you, 
as is righteousness, respect for life, love, decency and fairness. True friendship, companionship, bonds and love are already hard to find, and are becoming more so, whilst freedom has long since become a charade and will remain so for a long time, as will peace. This is because actions are only predicated on what is currently popular, without any responsibility, and entirely without conscience. Therefore, more and more parents are sexually abusing their own children, and abuse is taking place between siblings, as well as an increase in rapes between woman and man, woman and woman, man and man, whilst many ecclesiastics and educators, etc. are also sexually abusing those under their protection and more and more pedophiles are committing sexual crimes against children, as has already occurred in many cases. Just as immoral and unseemly sexual behavior and sexual azartung have been propagated for years now in cinema and on television, this will continue in a much broader form in the future as well. Whoever speaks and teaches the truth with regard to creation and its laws and recommendations is not wanted to be listened to by you human beings of earth for a long time coming, because your belief in all the false religions, sects, ideologies, and various false philosophies as well as in politics keeps you imprisoned as if by steel claws. As a result, you will continue to allow these and the falsehoods of the false prophets to be spread by religious and sectarian ecclesiastics, around whom you cluster in blind belief, in obedience and listening to their lies saying that you should carry weapons in order to fight against those who are teaching the truth of the creation and its laws and recommendations. And the false prophets and those of you who believe in them will speak about fairness, something which you however truthfully do not know, Therefore you will commit murder in your delusion and fanaticism, as has already occurred in the case of religious and fanatical terrorists. Finally, there will no longer be any order amongst you human beings of earth, because vice and pathological cravings, greed for might, jealousy, hatred, revenge and retaliation are spreading everywhere, many amongst you are yielding to the urge to kill your fellow human beings meaning that unbounded murder and destruction will take place more and more all over the world. Therefore, it will be as it has never before been, that you human beings will judge according to your blood and belief, that you as parents will cast out your own children and you as adults and young human beings will cast out the aged. And you will increasingly close your eyes to crimes that occur in your sight, to rapes of helpless and defenseless women, to sexual abuse of children as well as to evil and often fatal gewalt acts against your fellow human beings who are old, handicapped, weak and vulnerable. Increasingly, all kinds of human achievements will be deliberately and maliciously destroyed, plundered and robbed, deceitfulness will be practiced and more and more lies and calumnies will prevail as well to your own advantage. The pathological craving for profit amongst those of you who control the use of foodstuffs, their planting and processing will lead to more and more hungry human beings joining the population of Earth, and it will be terrible to see the bones of the starving projecting through their skin, and how their wounds will fester, suppurate and be attacked by vermin. And it will become ever more terrible how many of you human beings will be driven, harried and killed like harmful game whilst many others will flee and lose their lives in many wises during their flight. And yet, as is already the case today, the majority of you human beings of Earth will not pay any heed, because you turn your face away from the suffering of the refugees and do not do anything to enable them to live in their homeland, work and lead a life of dignity. Increasingly, you will only look after yourselves, and you will only be able to assuage your guilty conscience by giving small donations to the poor and suffering although your real motivation will be for everyone to think that you are a good human being and you receive the small donations back many times over. Truly, the price of a human life is becoming ever cheaper, and more and more trafficking of human beings as slaves is going on, whether as slave workers, for prostitution, in the mercenaries or for organ trading, for the purpose of which healthy human beings amongst you are abducted, kidnapped, sold and slaughtered like livestock, to be robbed of your viscera, organs and body parts. And all of the human beings amongst you who are greedy for profit, you who conduct this sort of trafficking or are yourselves murderers, slaughterers and butchers of carcasses, 
you will fight even over the blood of your murdered victims, just as you would over their skin and bones, and this has already become so commonplace at this time when the third millennium is opening, and therefore things will get very much worse in this wise in the time to come. And human trafficking will not only be performed increasingly with adults, specifically with young women for the purposes of prostitution, but also with men for the purposes of slave work as well as with children who are put to work and sexually abused by pedophiles. And everything is becoming more and more commonplace in this form, just as the inviolability of your human dignity is being increasingly disregarded and forgotten. Therefore, it will be that you human beings of Earth will become increasingly brutalized, conscienceless, and will lapse further and further into cruelty. Lying and deception will rule the world to an increasing extent, namely through the beggars amongst you just as much as through those of you who live as good citizens in normal and good prosperity, and this will be the case right up to you rich and ruling ones. Therefore, as never before in the history of earthly humanity, lying and deception as well as deceit, falseness and calumny as well as servitude through government will be held as the truth, and an ever greater terribleness will be built upon it. And it will be increasingly the case that you human beings will be treated like animals for the slaughter, implanted with electronic data chips by means of which you will be completely controlled and robbed of freedom by authorities, public offices, and governments, although in your ignorance you will think that you live as free human beings although you are in fact servants of the governments. So public authorities, official bodies, and those in government will rule over you in a wise that has never happened before, meaning that you will no longer chart the course of your own fate in the collective, because this will be done by those who exercise total might and control over you. In this wise, every one of you will be a servant and slave of authorities, public bodies, and governments, i.e. of those mightful ones and their vassals who possess might in this respect. Still, in the early part of the third millennium, there might be time for you human beings of Earth to prevent this if you would unify as humanity and rise up against these threatening future machinations of governments and the scientists and technicians who obey them, in order to prevent the threat named in this regard from occurring. Overpopulation on Earth, it must be said again and again, will continue to rise due to the irrationality and the irresponsibility of your humanity of Earth. However, this also happens due to the machinations of governments, their authorities, and public bodies which promote offspring and act with equal levels of irresponsibility, as well as the sectarian senselessnesses of the Catholic Church, which can indeed be called criminal and unlawful, or else those of the Pope, clerics, and priests who are misteaching the go forth and multiply as a deceitful law of God. As a result, there will be ever more human beings who will have less and less space in which to live, and this space will become so small that you will end up by trampling one another to death. And you will move about more and more, spilling over the boundaries of your home country and leaving it, thereby dying, although very many of you will also travel the world aimlessly with the consequence that you will intermix and form liaisons more and more, leading to increasing numbers of families being torn apart and more and more mixed-race peoples arising, whilst pure peoples disappear to an increasing extent. As a result, however, you will become more and more foreign to one another, with the consequence that more and more hatred and enmities will arise, which will in turn lead to ever more conflicts between individuals and ultimately to death, manslaughter, criminality, and wars with gigantic destructions. Therefore, many of you will lapse into depravity, meaning that you will lose your own guidance, spread in all directions, and go from one unfortune to the next. And as a result of the religions, sects, ideologies, and philosophies that have lapsed into falseness and lying as well as deception and untruth, you human beings of Earth are initially going even further astray and following the creational laws and recommendations even less in order to live far from them and not to adhere to them. And indeed it will take a long time because this is the wise that human beings act and you only want to guide your life according to your own laws, completely beyond the laws and recommendations as they have been given through the creation that anchored everything in ancient times in the nature and the entire existence of the universe. 
in the wise that you disregard and scorn the creational laws and recommendations, it will also be that you tread the natural guidance of nature into the ground to such an extent that women only continue to give birth to offspring whose sex has been determined in advance through selective measures taken at conception, which will increasingly no longer be performed in a natural wise, but artificially. It will also be the case and become the norm that in the case of natural conceptions, the embryo in the womb will be conscienselessly killed for no vital reason if its sex does not correspond to the wish of the mother or the father. In future time, it will be the case that very many of you human beings of earth will think yourselves as creation itself, in your religious, sectarian sense as God. The powerful ones of all kinds amongst you will seize ever more land and property and other belongings for themselves, including women, whom they will keep as prostitutes or as objects of prestige. Whereas the powerful ones amongst you will increasingly view the poor and weak as subhuman and as vermin, and will treat them accordingly, so that you who belong to this class will increasingly live in fear and the hatred in you will assume its most poisonous forms. However, all the items named here only represent the start, because in secret there is a mighty organization of the governing class and mightful ones as well as many of their obedient lackeys emerging from amongst your humanity, who are creating a secret order of darkness with their own evil laws and ordinances, who are bent on hatred for the poor and weak and against the economically imprisoned and all normal citizens. And it is their desire to seize ever more might, more money and entire mastery over the whole earth and your humanity for themselves, therefore it is spreading their evil supremacy over the world, supported by its obedient vassals of all kinds who are greedy for blood as well as profit. Even the powerful ones of the economy are feeling the might and obeying the evil laws of the dark order which is spreading its dangerous and fatal poison of hatred everywhere, into everything and against everyone who does not share the same opinion as the dark might. Therefore, you human beings of Earth are no longer active to any great extent, but go along in idleness with an empty expression in your eyes, knowing not what you should do and where you should go, because you have nothing else to do that brings you joy and a good reward. And you human beings of Earth, both young and old, are the ones who can no longer set down any roots in your life, you wander, demoralized and hopeless, bereft of work and home, with the result that you fight yourselves in all things and you hate your present existence, to the extent of finally bringing it to an end yourselves as has already been the case to an increasing extent since the 20th century and will become ever more widespread in future. Therefore, with the third millennium, this time has already dawned in which these things have quickly found their beginning and will develop ever more rapidly the longer they persist. As a result, the number of diseases and plagues is increasing, as is the number of illnesses that severely impair drinking water and bodies of water because of poisons of various kinds, as well as the air, soil and foodstuffs which grow on trees and bushes as well as in fields, woods, gardens and greenhouses. And still your efforts to counteract all the disasters are in vain, as are your attempts to put a break on this development because it is becoming greater and greater and more catastrophic with every day, indeed with every hour and every minute, standing in relation to the rapid increase in overpopulation. Therefore, you human beings of Earth want to resurrect all that has been destroyed so far because of your guilt and irrationality as well as irresponsibility, just as you want to keep what has remained whole, whereby however all your efforts in this direction are in vain because you do not come to the right conclusion in rationality. And the right decision is solely and alone this, that the overpopulation be stopped through a worldwide regulation of births and in this wise your earthly humanity be reduced to an extent that is appropriate for the planet and for nature, in which case this extent has been defined in accordance with nature and the planet for the whole earth at 529 million human beings. Through your irrationality, you human beings of Earth, the rainforests are dying ever faster, resulting in extensive deserts being created at an ever-increasing speed, whilst the glaciers and poles are melting resulting in increasing sea levels swallowing up valuable land, meaning that millions of you will be driven from your homes and your land which you used to be able to cultivate. 
Besides this, ever more powerful thunderstorms will rage, starting many fires and killing many of you as well your livestock, whilst ever more severe flash floods of water will fall from the clouds like veritable deluges destroying and flooding everything and exacting many deaths. This will occur at the same as droughts parch the land in other places, destroying woods, villages, towns and your homes with vast fires. Through all this, and due to the exhaust emissions from chimneys, factories, and engines of all kinds which emit particulates and CO2, the air will be increasingly charged with smoke and poisonous emissions as well as with radioactivity, biotoxins, and chemicals, resulting in many of you human beings becoming ill and dying. And furthermore, mighty earthquakes and undersea earthquakes will shake earth in ever-increasing magnitude destroying entire cities and raising them to the ground, just like many other things will be destroyed that have been built through irrationality and will continue to be built although the prophetic and predictive warning has been spoken against them. So landslides and mudslides, etc. will bury homes and villages whilst in other places tectonic movements, underground mining, cavities and watercourses will rend Earth's surface asunder causing homes and other buildings to sink into the ground. You human beings of Earth, however, choose not to learn from this because you are obstinate and do not want to hear the prophetic and predictive warnings. And in this stubbornness many impoverished and poor human beings as well as shady characters amongst you will become increasingly depraved, therefore the plundering will assume ever worsening forms, in particular wherever others of you human beings are in need, fleeing their homes and having to leave their property behind. Just like the sun is shining dangerously already at the beginning of the third millennium because the ozone layer around Earth has been seriously damaged and permeated, the sun will in future burn Earth even more and bring great harm to the entire world and all life forms, including to you human beings who will increasingly suffer from skin cancer and severe eye complaints, etc. However, it is not only the sun that will bring great harm to your earthly humanity and the planet, but undersea volcanoes will cause great destruction and boil the waters of the seas leading to the death of very many more of the water-dwelling life forms that have not already been exterminated by you human beings. During these submarine and also underground movements, energies will be unleashed that will cause certain continents or part of them to disappear underwater. However, all of this contributes to the situation that you are like humiliated dogs in your deceptive belief in religions and sex, shivering in the error of your deluded beliefs that God is punishing the world for your misdeeds, although you do not recognize that everything bad and all the catastrophes have been and will be caused exclusively and solely through your own guilt, in which case the ever more rampant overpopulation represents the principal reason for all evil Ozertungen. The sects that have arisen from all religions, ideologies, and philosophies will in future become ever more greedy, sneaky, scrupulous and aggressive, at the same time misusing modern science and the internet for their criminal and irresponsible purposes. In this wise, they are using everything that is criminal and unlawful, and even suicidal and murderous as well as terrorist machinations belong to the deceitful message of salvation by means of which new disciples and believers are led astray and made obedient. The religions, sects, ideologies, and false philosophies spread like poisonous and dangerous viruses which adapt to their changing environment, and they tie their nets ever more perfidious wise with regard to supermodern electronic soul-catching, using ever more modern means continuously attracting more and more academics and other educated human beings amongst you and placing them under their spell. And a further disaster, that more and more academics and other highly educated human beings are being recruited as sect members is due to the fact that you attempt to satisfy your delusion through them, which consists in the cloning of animals and human beings in accordance with your notions and wishes, because you want to have once again what you have lost and are losing through death. And you are doing this whilst at the same time in free nature, in the air, the soil, on the ground and in the waters, you are exterminating species after species and breed after breed of life in an irresponsible wise, irrespective of the flimsy reasons for doing this. 
In this wise, you are raising yourselves up to the most evil of all evils while deluding yourselves that you are good and creation itself, which you completely misconceive due to your religious and sectarian delusions, and wrongly believe it to be a divinity. Evermore fear, poison, and hopelessness will envelop you human beings of earth, and even your children will be afflicted by this when they are set upon by their parents or slave traders, sexually abused, tortured, thrashed, and sold. Therefore, however, fear, poison and hopelessness will also threaten the consciousness development of many of you, meaning that you will become apathetic and devoid of rationality. Indeed, there is nothing astonishing about this, because you human beings are being forced ever further away from the truth by false, misleading and irresponsible religions, sects, ideologies and philosophies as a result of which fewer and fewer of you will recognize the effective truth of creational laws and recommendations, and therefore ever fewer of you will follow them. Therefore, the change to the better, good and best will take a long time, because only when the bulk of your earthly humanity aspires for it will the great change come to the real learning of the real truth and for acting in this wise. For the moment, however, you human beings of earth believe yourselves to be God and do not know that this is only a figure of delusion invented by human beings which has nothing to do with the effective, all-embracing creation, i.e. with the universal consciousness. And still for a long time you will not recognize that you are no more and no less than you were at your birth, small, a human being, unknowing and helpless without the effects of creational laws and recommendations. And since you do not yet recognize this fact, you believe yourselves to be a divinity, to have might over life and death, and therefore you create, cultivate and cherish evil, wage wars, thirst for revenge, retaliation and blood, you allow yourselves to be guided by jealousy and rage and, whenever the opportunity presents itself, you reach out for might, profit and material wealth. At the same time, you do not realize that you are destroying everything around you in your blind rage and thereby accepting the total destruction of the planet and all life forms, together with yourselves, and you are unstoppably and vastly promoting this on the earth through limitless cultivation of overpopulation. Therefore, it can be said of you human beings of earth that you are stunted in your consciousness, in your rationality and in your intellect. On the other hand, however, you possess the forces of a giant in all your unintellect, in your irrationality, in your hatred, in your bellicosity and disharmony, and also in your urge for revenge, retaliation, the pathological craving for war and rage as well as in your urge for destruction. And in this wise, you are taking huge steps in your present existence and into the future of the third millennium, steps which are leading you completely astray, so you do not know which way you shall now follow, although you have filled your heads with all kinds of book learning which does not bring you any cognition with regard to the life and the creation as well as its laws and recommendations. Therefore you do not know why you are living and dying at all, because the world of the creation condition becoming and passing is as strange to you as the effective creational truth itself, so that you merely curse about your life in ignorance, then return to wailing and waving your arms like lunatics. You fanatics amongst the believers in religions, sects, ideologies, and philosophies, many Christians, Jews, Muslims, Hindus, and Buddhists as well as believers in their sects, you are continuously increasing in enmity with one another, you set about one another, practice terrorist acts and cut one another's throats, assassinate human beings with bombs and even wage war in your own families and ranks. In doing so, you are all caught up in your own religious and sectarian delusion, namely that your belief is the only right one and that you must defend it with human blood, whereas in fact you are far away from the real truth and do not know the creational laws and recommendations. Therefore, thanks to your efforts, death makes progress everywhere, whilst you stand opposed to the effective creational truth with your doubts and regard it as an evil might. In so doing, however, you will be excluded from human life and be without rights, those of you who have nothing else to sell for your delusion than your own life, which you throw away in suicidal acts. And you are cast out and expelled by all those who are not with you and who want peace, security, and calm, in which case your threats and snarling will not bring you any benefit. 
Although you hear about the prophecies and predictions, in your religious and sectarian blindness you are, however, unable to recognize the effect of truth, therefore you only vegetate in your own barbarity, and continue to spread death and destruction. And many amongst you human beings of earth, you close your own eyes to this, because you incorrectly believe that you are safe whilst, however, fear and suspicion gnaws away inside you and pursues you step by step, so that you have neither rest nor repose. Truly, it will take about another 800 years before you human beings of earth finally wake up and until the majority of you slowly make an effort to give the creational truth and the laws of the creation and its recommendations their right. Only after this time will the goblet of the truth, i.e. the teaching of the true prophets as well as the spiritual teaching as the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life slowly begin to bear fruit. Only then will you human beings learn to establish good interpersonal and true personal relationships with one another, to understand one another and then finally live in truth, peace, love, freedom and harmony. Only then will it come about that your earthly humanity will become united, a oneness in which case the best language will be chosen from all the languages of all peoples in order to make this into a single and uniform global language, although all other languages of all peoples will be retained. And through this world language, every human being will be able to understand the other, irrespective of which people he or she belongs to. And this will then be the time when you human beings of Earth will fly through the broad expanse of space in a good wise, creating new living spaces for yourselves. And this will be both on foreign worlds in the expanses of the universe, as well as in and under the waters of Earth, on the Moon and in Earth orbit. And this will therefore also be the time that you human beings will become taller in general and achieve a very ripe age, communicating peacefully with one another, being friendly and helpful to one another. Also true and good knowledge will grow amongst you human beings, and you will gain and discover more and more and larger and larger secrets of the life as well as the creational laws, secrets of the present existence and the universe. From this, you will learn, understand and follow everything, growing ever more in line with the creational laws and recommendations, understanding, using, learning and following them. However, this is not the merit of you men, but of you women who take up the staff of leadership and of dignity and steer the situation of you human beings of earth, because your womanly true discernment and your sense are directed towards love, peace, freedom, human dignity, equality, and harmony, and stop the affectations of you men with regard to war, Gewalt and many kinds of Azartung. Therefore, after all the millennia of evil, Azartung, Gewalt acts, disharmony, lovelessness, unfreedom and unpeace, womanhood will radiate hope and happiness as well as the lightness of the life in which now all dreams come true that are oriented towards true love, peace, freedom and harmony, and yet it will take a long time until then because the way out of barbarity and into the good future is a long and tortuous one. And yet you will find the regulation again, together with earth, with your climate, nature, your woods and plants and the waters which will once again be pure and healthy, the desert areas that will once again be awakened into life, because everything will once again be directed in accordance with creational laws and recommendations and their fulfillment. And in this wise, in the restored regulation, you will heal diseases and prevent plagues before they occur, and each of you will know how to help yourself as well as how to help your next ones. The entire change to the better, good and best which you women of earth will achieve, will also end the poverty of many of you human beings of earth, because the wisdom and kind-heartedness of women will mean that they will be cared for from now on in joy and true humanity, and there will no longer merely be a taking and demanding something back. And therefore now each of you human beings will be there for your next ones and also for other fellow human beings in good interpersonal relationships, therefore loneliness will no longer exist and you will recognize and accept one another as human beings without conceit with regard to belonging to a particular people, the color of one's skin, one's opinion, language or the status of knowledge and education. Truly, all this goodness is so near to you if only you knew how to grasp it, understand and use it, which is something that you cannot yet do however, 
and therefore goodness is so near and yet so far from you because you first need to find the right way to it as has been laid down for you in the creational laws and recommendations that you can read and follow in free nature. You human beings of earth, you are however erroneously directed in your thoughts and feelings so that you will first have to suffer great damage and fall into chaos and catastrophes before you turn to the effective truth and follow it. Therefore, you need an iron fist to guide you, and you can find this in the goblet of the truth, in the teaching of the prophets and therefore also in the spiritual teaching which is the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life as has been given over billions of years, brought forth by Nocodemian, carried to earth from a far-off galaxy and taught by seven prophet personalities from his line of the spirit form. And this teaching of the prophets teaches that you do not need to fear death because you have many lives, and therefore you will learn from the goblet of the truth and the spiritual teaching, i.e. the teaching of the truth, the teaching of the spirit, the teaching of the life and become knowing in the things that go round life and death. And so you will also be knowing of the creational and natural laws and recommendations which teach you that your spirit will never cease to exist, but will continue to exist endlessly and ultimately will unite with the creation, the universal consciousness. Semuse Silver Star Center August 20, 2008, 5.39 p.m. Billy, 